Hello, and welcome back to another edition of Carrie's Gardening Channel. Today is May the 18th, 2019, and um, I'm going to be putting some uh, tender green burpless cucumbers into a hanging basket today. So these are some of my cucumbers here. I have some more elsewhere. And I have some up here already growing in a hanging basket. And I'm going to show you how to do one of these up. So we'll be right back. Okay, so um, this is my 10 inch basket here. And I already put the uh, drain disc in the bottom to uh, keep a water reservoir there between the plant roots and the bottom of the hanging basket. Now, um, I am going to be growing these in the greenhouse. So this is going to be a greenhouse experiment here. And um, it's been raining so much. I'm in Pennsylvania in zone 5B. And we've been having so much rain that um, the ground is so wet. I don't know when we're going to be able to plant any of our stuff out into it. So I've been doing a lot of stuff in the greenhouse in uh, containers. So I'm adding some uh, Epsom salt here to my potting mix. And I'm doing about a handful in this container here. And then I'm going to be adding some tomato tone. And the reason why I'm adding the uh, Epsom tomato tone is it's a 346. Now, um, the other ones, I fed those with the Eco Scraps 555 plant food. And I did do some with the tomato tone uh, vegetable plant food. So I'm going to see which one does better. Now, um,. The uh, tomato tone has the uh, phosphorus in it, which not only helps your plants to bloom, but it also helps your plants to establish a nice, healthy root system. So, I'm going to be adding some tomato tone here. And I'm mixing in about two tablespoons to this container here. And I'm adding about, just adding a little bit of bone meal there. Probably about, let me see here. Probably about half a teaspoon of bone meal. I'm going to take my gardening little tools here. And I'm going to mix this all up. And the reason why I add the bone meal is the bone meal has the phosphorus in, which will help the blooms, but it'll also help with the root system to establish the root system. All nice and mixed up here. And I'm leaving a space between where I stop the potting mix and the top of the container so that um, I don't have any issues when I water it with my water just running out over the top. Everything should work well together. That's all mixed up and good. 
So I'm going to go get my two plants and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back and I have two of my cucumber plants here. And I'm just going to make a little spot here for them. Now these were started out in the uh, greenhouse, the heated greenhouse here. You can see the roots are starting to come out the bottom and they are starting to get their true leaves. So I'm just going to take this top uh, thing off here. You can see the root systems here. It's not exactly everything I want to take off, but I'm just going to take a little bit of this off here. You don't have to take this off. I just am because I didn't want um, the water sitting in that little water reservoir there because I'm planting it. And your cucumbers will send um, roots off of the plant stalk. There we go. Got one. Fill back in around here. And I'll have links down in the description for um, the plant foods that I use and my little garden tools here. The other one here real quick. The other one in here. Get a hole for it. You can see this one here has the roots coming out the bottom too. Some of this here off here. Now I don't want to damage the roots. That's something I don't want to do. And the roots will grow out through this. I'm just taking some of this off because it's, it's not really necessary. There go. Fill back in around here. Now these will get fed with a product twice a week called Sea Magic. And, um, that really helps your plants to bloom faster. It also helps to repel certain pests and diseases. So, um, Sea Magic is a product that I have used for many years. I really like it. And um, I uh, just thought I highly recommend using. And I use it on all of my vegetables. So, I'm just going to put the hanger on here real quick. So um, I'm just going to give this a nice gentle watering then and I'll put the hanger on. Um, I have a lot of white hangers and this basket here, um, I don't know where the hanger is for it so I'm just going to put a white one on it. I'm not worried about it. Okay, so I got my water here and I'm just giving this a nice good watering. And I will be keeping my cucumbers moist but not soggy. So I will be checking them quite frequently for water. And um, sometimes what actually makes your cucumbers bitter is when um, they get, they're getting their water and they have the cucumbers hanging on and then um, they stop getting the water and that will actually make your cucumbers taste bitter. So I'm going to go get some more water. I'm going to finish watering this until water runs out the bottom. And then I will come back and talk to you some more. Okay, so I got this all watered and I put the uh, hanger on. Now I had to do a little improvising with the uh, basket hanger because it wouldn't fit where it was supposed to. So uh, I had to work with a little bit and I got it on at a different spot. Now um, I did label this. This is uh, experiment number three because this particular hanging basket here was fed with the uh, Epsoma tomato tone. And the other two baskets were fed with the Eco Scraps 555 plant food. So um, when I labeled this, this label here, I put the date that it was transplanted and I put the name of the cucumbers on it. And then the second tag, I put um, experiment number three on it and I labeled what I fed it with. And I also wrote down um, how much I gave each basket for the plant food. So, um, this one here is all ready to be 
put up on uh, one of the hangers in the greenhouse and um, I will show you some of the other cucumbers that I currently have growing. So we'll be right back. So uh, this is a container of the tender green burpless cucumbers growing here and um, these were started these were transplanted uh, transplanted April 19th and uh, these were fed with the uh, Epsoma tomato tone and they get the um, Epsom salt and they also get the uh, the sea magic and the bone meal so you can see here these are just they're starting to get uh, the buds into bloom and I already have their cage in place for them so they have something to climb I'm trying two different ways of growing these in the greenhouse. Um, one way I'm going to have them climbing and the other way I'm going to have them trailing. Now the tender green burpless cucumbers did very well for us last year outside. Um, we had enough and we actually got enough to do up some buckets of pickles and they did very well for the pickles. Um, they have a nice tender skin on them that allowed the pickle juices to soak into the cucumbers. And uh, they were our favorite cucumber of last year, so we planted only that variety this year. And the tender green burpless cucumber can tolerate excessive moisture in soils, and it can also tolerate cooler soils. So it did really well for us here in Pennsylvania last year. So I'll show you another one here. And this is a, another one of my cucumbers here. Now this one was transplanted... Uh, just this month, I believe it was on the 9th, so uh, it's not quite as big. Now this one here was fed with the uh, Eco Scraps, I believe it was the 555 plant food I mixed in with this one here. I'm trying a few different foods with these to see which one does the best. So, um, and this over here is, uh, this is a big zucchini plant here while it's getting bigger and I'm doing some different experiments this year with growing different vegetables in the uh, greenhouse because everything is so wet outside there's no way we can even get into the ground so um, I have different stuff actually growing in here and uh, I'm, a lot of it for the big containers is all going to stay in here to see how well it will grow in here for me. So I have some stuff to get up off of the floor so that uh, we don't have any issues with any type of disease or blight or anything like that. And uh, this is my other cucumber in the uh, hanging basket here. Now this is only one in this one here. Now most of these, when these start blooming, I will have to hand pollinate them. Um, I did a video on that last year for how to hand pollinate your cucumber plants because even outside we're down on our pollinators so um, I did a video showing how to hand pollinate your uh, cucumber plants and I've been hand pollinating everything in here in the containers to make sure that it is getting pollinated so we can get the harvest off of it. Now um, I do recommend growing at least two cucumber plants just to make sure that you have enough for uh, getting pollinators. So um, if I only put one in this container here, I would just do another 10 inch basket with another one in it just to make sure that I had two plants to pollinate back and forth. Now uh, because I'm not growing any other type of cucumbers this year, um, I'm going to be able to harvest the uh, seeds off of this heirloom then and keep the strain pure because I'm not growing any other varieties of cucumbers. Now, um, if you live like in town or something like that, uh, depending on what your neighbor would be growing, they could cross. So um, that uh, would be something you would have to watch out for. So as these continue to grow, I will come back with more videos. And I so if you like my video, please like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, you can leave them below and I'll try and answer them for you. Please don't forget to hit the little notification button that ties up what new video on. 
You can also follow me on Twitter. I have a link down in the description for my Twitter account. Thank you for watching, and hope you have a nice day. Bye!